Hey guys, before we get into the video, I just want to give a little brief rundown of how tonight's episode is going to go. Uh, Taylor is actually going to be DMing. Uh, I know that the past few episodes I was DMing the, our, our series of Tales from the Sword Coast. Tonight it's going to be Taylor. So uh, give her, give her, wish her, be the, her best with uh, a Tales. And uh, I'm going to turn it over to her now. Right. Hey guys, I'm Taylor as well said. I'm the voice of Linnea. You might also know me as Lentia from our uh, murder mystery and Sea of Troubles. Uh, so tonight is the season finale of season one of Tales from the Sword Coast, Skeletons from the Past. And with that, I'm going to have my players go around and introduce themselves and who they're playing as. All right. So, hey, hey everyone, I, so I guess if you guys know me, I've done several voices of Cerberus um, and Tyronis, but tonight I'm playing as the centaur known as Iron Chain. He's very, very southern, and in case people don't know that centaurs are half horses, half, half, half dudes, and he's got, in, he's got incredible speed. I mean, his, his stats, well, let's just say there's, his stats are growing, and he was, he was recruited to fight with um, uh, Linnea, him, uh, uh, Culper, and after Servers is passing, he was recruited to help in the next uh, missions and whatever threats are coming up next. He's very snarky though. His personality is like a little bit snarky. He likes to like mess with people sometimes, like joke around. He's a little bit of a trollster. I am well. I am the voice of uh, Culper. He is a half elf rogue who likes to. He's very cynical. He has the voice of a famous merc with a mouth that a lot of people know. Um, and his mouth has gotten him into trouble more times than he can count. Um, mm -hmm. And sometimes it's bad. It's a fun kind of trouble. Sometimes it's not fun. He does have a bit of a, a darker past. Sometimes has this fear that um, his past will come back to haunt him. And that's why he kind of hides behind the snarky, sarcastic, um, merc with the mouth kind of tone about everything. And that brings it back to me. Like I said earlier, I'm going to be playing as Linnea tonight. Um, if you guys don't know her, I recommend you go back and watch the first couple of episodes of Tales from the Sword Coast, just so that way you're not lost in what's going on tonight. But she is a changeling. Um, she is actually multi-classing now as a rogue and a bard. And yeah, she's, she's the flirtatious one of the group. She seduced orcs and killed them that way. But anyways, before we get started with the campaign, I just wanted to give a shout out to Liam. You are our first commenter, one of our first subscribers. Thanks for your support, bud. You're awesome. And with that, here we go. As always, we begin in the town of Phandalin on the Sword Coast. If you guys don't know Phandalin by now, what the hell have you been doing? <laughs> Living under Patrick's Rock. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. Okay. We the put party. it as the thumbnail to most of our videos. Like Exactly. Um, the party is in the Stonehill Inn. It has been six months since their adventures and to the logging camp. And since then they have gone on several quests and become well respected, well renowned throughout the whole of the Sword Code. Linnea has also received her trophy back from the merchant, gilded and is now placed in her room. The party um, comes down the stairs of the Stone Hill Inn from their rooms into the bar and the main entrance hall of the tavern. And with that, I am going to have everyone roll for initiative. Oh boy. Oh yeah, we still have well, initiative oh, right after that. Yeah, Intrigue. no messing around, eh? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm at a five. Well, you that's what I'm, at, I'm at a three, but I have a negative three, so I'm a big fat bitch. <laughs> you have a zero, and when I got a match <laughs> 20. Way to start. Way to start. For yeah, me. right? Yeah, to start 20, for a five, and a zero. There we go, guys. Manea comes downstairs, her companion's flanking her, and she is going to roll a perception check. 
She got a 20, but not that. So. Why not that? Yeah, I think so. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So she looks around. She sees Harold, the Stonehill Inn's grizzled barkeep and owner. His wife poking her head out from the kitchen where she's preparing meals. Two bards up on the stage dancing and singing a merry little tune. And she also notices several people that turn to watch them enter. You know, they look away fast enough. She doesn't think anything of it. She doesn't recognize them. She just thinks that they know who they are because they become famous within Vandalin. And with that, it is Culper's turn. All right. I am also going to roll a perception check. All right. I'm going to roll an eight. You roll an eight? Colton just has terrible luck when it comes to rolling. When he I play really a, does. We when I play a so bad bad luck, I'm rolling good rolls. No, Colton's it's trash. cursed. Yeah. Colton's cursed. <laughs> All right. But, um, so you see your companions next to you. You see Harold. You see the bards. You don't notice the people staring at you guys, though. Mm-hmm. And with that, it is Iron Chain, the centaur. So it's basically, what do you want to do? Do you want to, do you want to look around? Do you want to go up to the bar? Do you want to talk to your companions? It's up to you. What do you want to do? I think that would be hilarious to see. I, I feel like going for a drink. I feel like going for them drinks. I haven't had a drink in a while. There it is. Alrighty. <laughs> so, Iron Chain approaches Harold at the bar. The steady clip-clop of his hooves marching <laughs> along the hardwood floors. Out of character, I could totally see this happening, and I would love to see it in real life. Just in a bar, and a giant ass, like a giant seven-foot tall centaur just clopping right up to the bar and ordering a drink. I think that would be hilarious. <laughs> Alright. You are now at the bar. A roll friend, what can I get for you? Uh you know, what what's your recommendations uh get here? I mean all I of them look like lightweights here. I recommend the apple ale. Apple ale? Apple ale. That sounds, that sounds juicy. You know what I'm saying, dear? It's pretty fruity, but it's delicious, and it'll knock you off your feet in a matter of seconds. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm game for this. Alrighty, one apple ale, that'll be one copper. As you wish. Here you are. Alrighty, Iron Chain hands over the copper, Carol takes it and places the ale in front of him. And with that, it is back to Linnea. Um, so she is actually going to go up on stage and start performing with the other bards. And I'm going to roll a performance check. A net 20. Hey. And she, yes. And she just, it's she's like blowing one. this performance out of the water. She has her looped out. She's strumming along. And the patrons in the bar are just enchanted by it. Now that is Starbucks' turn. I'm oh, sorry, not Starbucks. Starbucks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Starbucks. Oh. He's not in this <laughs> campaign. I am going to go up to the bar, order really? order an ale, and then roll a perception check. What are you checking your perception for? I'm just... Just looking around? Just looking around, you know. You, you, people watch. You go into bars and okay. people watch. People watching? Okay, so Pulper approaches the bar where Iron Chain is still sitting, sipping on his ale. Aurora, what you getting today? Uh, the tab still hasn't been paid up from last night. It's morning now. And I haven't left the tavern yet. Yes. Have I? Have I? Have I? No, but do I really trust you? I always pay my tab. You know this. I'm going to have you roll a persuasion check on Harold. Shit. It <laughs> rolled off the table, so that's a nat one. Out of 
were right at this once. Because it was your first roll, well, your second roll of the night, but your first, like, actual roll. When it fell on the ground. Yeah, yeah. I'll roll right, right at that once. That's my house roll. You get one freebie. Alright, well, I rolled a 10 on my, on my re-roll. Yeah, Harold doesn't buy it. He wants you to pay your full tab before he will serve you anything else. Roll a mystery item, Harold. You owe me eight copper. I thought you were expecting. I thought you were gonna say gold, but all right, yeah, I can do the copper here. Slams it down on the bar. Harold takes the copper. Now, what can I get you, God? Thank you for paying your bill. Uh, give me a rum. A rum, alrighty. That's going to be two copper. Okay. Yeah. Right. If you hear me, if you hear my hand slam down on something firm. That's, okay, I thought that was just my mic glitching out again. No, I had that's to that's me. I don't. I wish I had something like metallic you're that good. I can clink down, like change. Yeah, you're good. So Harold takes it, hands Culper the ale. Now with that is Iron Chain's turn once again. Wait, George. wait! What? I still have to roll another perception check. Oh shit! That's right. Go ahead. Woo! Nineteen. Great. So you look around, you're watching people, you see Linnea up on stage, you see everyone staring at her. But however you notice something odd, there's a group of individuals sitting in a far corner, just staring directly at Culver. Um, they are dressed all in black, and they come from many different races, from half orc to uh, elf. And even a goblin and a, what's the word I'm looking for? A tiefling is among them as well. They are talking quietly by themselves, but their eyes do not leave culprits. Do you want to roll a history check to see if you know them? Absolutely. freaking lootly Alrighty. Seven. They seem familiar, but you have met so many different people on your travels in the past few years that their faces just draw a blank. You assume that you've seen them at some tavern somewhere and think nothing of it. And at that, it is Iron Chain's turn. All right. <clears throat> what do you want to do? Hey, Iron Chain. Hmm? What is it? You see that that shading, shady looking group of individuals over in the corner there? Hmm. Can't, I can't say I do, in fact. Are you blind? No, they just they look familiar, but hmm, maybe I maybe I do. Well something well, about them perhaps I do. Something about them is very familiar to me, but I can't I can't put my finger on it. Hmm. So like you, I've been on. I've been around a lot of people. I've seen a lot of things, even before y'all recruited me. All right. So Iron Chain, <clears throat> roll me a history check. Two plus zero. Nineteen. Nineteen. 19 total, yeah. Basically. So you look at them, you see them, but you don't recognize them at all. They are complete strangers to you. Hmm. And with that. But do you want to do anything else before ending your turn? Uh, do you want to talk to Linnea and see if she recognizes them? Do you want to talk to Harold? Do you want to talk to Popper some more? Do you want to leave the bar? <clears throat> is there anything else you want to do or no? Say Linnea. Uh, she's up Linnea's up on stage. She's you have up to on go stage. Up to her. Oh. You have to go up to her. Yeah, so, the, so Iron Chain walks up to her. He doesn't care that she's on stage and whatnot. Okay. Hey, Linnea, uh, do those, those sack of folks over there, do you recognize them at all? Hang on a second. Let me finish the set, and I'll check. Linnea strums her loot, throws her fists up in the air, and says, And that's my song, boys and girls. <laughs> Have a fabulous night. I'm here all day. And then looks over in the corner where Iron Chain pointed out the figures to her. 
And she is also going to roll a history chat. And that's a 20, but not Nat. Linnea looks at them, and the color drains from her face, but really looks at them this time. And you see the color drain from her face. She looks at you. She looks at Hope, looks at them, and sees that they're looking at Hoper. And Iron Chain, we need to get to Hoper and get out of here now. Huh? What, what, why are we in a rush all of a sudden? Act, act normal. Okay. So tell Culper, I said, we're initiating protocol nightfall. Ah, understood. Culper, Culper. Iron Chain walks up to Culper at a casual stroll at the bar. What's going on, buddy? Oh, uh, so Linnea says we gotta act activate a mission called Operation Nightfall right now. We have to, we have to get out of here. Oh, shit. Yep, I guess oh, it's that time. Linnea's well, making her way towards... Linnea's making her way towards the door. She sees the people still watching uh, Pulper as he and Iron Chain get up to try and leave. Linnea approaches. Plan B? She asks you... She asks Pulper and Thieves Camp. Meet you at... I'll meet you in Neverwinter then. Um, and like that, Linnea shoves Culper out of the way, pulls her bow, and fires at the people watching them. And that's an at 20, so she, that's going to hit, and she's going to roll for double damage. And that dealt 20 damage, so that kills one of the cultists. And with that, they are on their feet and chasing after Linnea as Iron Chain and Culper try to flee through the front door and the patrons of the Stonehill Inn scatter. But that is Culper's turn. What do you want to do? I am going to try to... Are there any windows that are next to the front door? No. Shit, I was going to try to dramatically jump through a window. <laughs> there is one on a side wall that leads into an alley, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump through the window. All right, roll me a acrobatics check. Oh boy! Woo! Twenty-one. All right, yeah. Culper gets a running start and just looks at shielding his face as he goes flying through this ornately decorated stained glass window. He does a sick roll and front flip as he lands in a crouch position. Not so much as a scratch on him. However, roll me a perception or not a perception. Yeah, a perception check. No more perception. Uh, that's going to be an 18. Hopefully looks up and sees more of the dark figures, more of the strange people at both ends of the alley. Hello there. One of them draws their bow. Is your last name Townsend or Talmadge? Is it Townsend for Culper? Town Townsend. Yeah. Culper Townsend, you are wanted for the murder of High Master Leopold and for crimes against the Thieves Guild of Neverwinter. You guys really didn't know, did you? <laughs> know what, fool? That fool of a leader was gonna was gonna lead us to decimation. We were all you lead, lie. our leader was going to sell us out to the royal family. Roll me a persuasion check. That's gonna be a thirteen. They don't believe you. And the one with the bow drawn it's going to pull the hit. Does nineteen hit? You're going to take 12 damage. Holy shit. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. And with that, it was Iron Chain's turn. Iron Chain, you were still in the tavern. You just saw Culper do a sick flip out the window. Are you going oh. to go out the front door and try to circle around to the alley? 
do you want to look and try and find Monet and find out what the hell's going on? Or do you just want to try and jump out the window yourself? <laughs> well, my acrobatics is really shit, so... <laughs> hey, buddy, I could really use your help out here. <laughs> yeah, I'm mean, coming out, though. If you want to do I... an athletics check, you can try that. I'll yep. give you athletics or acrobatics. Athletics? My acrobatics is pure shit. <laughs> Alright, roll for athletics. <laughs> Please let me a 20. <laughs> that would be awesome. Nat 1, and it was a plus 4, so 5. No, that's a, that's a nat 1. That's a nat 1. That's a, I mean, that's a nat 1. It would be hilarious if he got a nat 20 and he just, like, bursts through the wall. <laughs> but no, Boom. so you got a nat 1. So Iron Chain. Oh, shit. You, you start galloping towards the window. However, mm-hmm. your front hoof gets caught on a loose floorboard and you you do a somersault forward and you land on your ass. Face first. Oh. Face first? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how could you land on your ass face first? Yeah, say, how could you He's land a on centaur, ass? so his ass is on one side as his human torso is going down. He hits his head and he lands on his butt. So he's like kind of contorted. Alright. Because he has four paws, four legs. Yeah. Okay. Plus two arms. <laughs> so, and with that, it is Linnea's turn. So Linnea has led this group on a merry little chase up to the second floor of the Stonehill Inn. And she grins and throws down a smoke bomb to cover her as she attempts to jump through a window. And she is going to do a acrobatics check. And that is a nat 20. So, Linnea bursts from the window, sees the people, sees that they are attacking Culver, shooting arrows at him in this alleyway. She draws her bow from her back as she is free falling. And she gets a nat 20. For a there it is. There yeah, we go. There we go, baby! In case you guys don't know, I play with multiple sets of dice. I roll a different d20 each time. <laughs> oh. Well, that's why. I explain yeah. everything. I'm gonna break out my... I've got four, nat, four d20s myself. Then, I'm gonna say okay. trying that. And she's gonna do 30 damage on two. Holy shit. And... Using barrage or an arrow barrage, and that's gonna hit the three directly in front of Colbert. And she will she lands in a crouch and does not sustain any damage. Colbert, you are right. Uh been better, but you know. Got an arrow in my What the arm. hell did you do to the guild to piss them off? I may or may not have killed off the fool. The fool leader. Mm-hmm. You, were, you, were, you two were dating. Why would you kill him? Yeah, he was gonna. He was gonna lead. He was gonna lead the guild to decimation. He was gonna give you up the entire him. guild. He was going to to rat out the entire guild to the royal family. Oh shit! The entire royal fa- the royal family would have would have killed every member of the guild. You oh, know shit. how powerful they are, and how much, the, uh, uh, and how good their spies are. They would have found us. I mean, you're not wrong. And anyways, what, hearing this, one of the cultist pipes, or not cultist, sorry, one of the guild assassins. They're, they're, they're pipes, practically cultists. Let's be real. I am. I am. They are. They sound like they are. <laughs> they they absolutely this, sound like one they are. of the guild assassins pipes up and says. He not only killed our leader, he robbed us blind and stole every penny we had left. It's taken us nearly five years to rebuild what he destroyed. For that, over towns and you must die. I don't remember that, but if you say so... And with that, Fast Assassin's going to roll the hit, and it's going to miss. Oh, and I don't have a uh, I don't have a bow on this game in this game, so this is gonna be interesting. You don't have a bow? You're a rogue, aren't you? Yeah, I have two short swords. Well, I have a. 
<laughs> oh, wait, no, I have a short bow. I do have a short bow. My apologies. I got you, BB. Got you. <laughs> I love you, ho. I'm not just kidding. The cow's a howl. Excuse me? What did you just say? <laughs> you heard me. I didn't hear shit. All right. Um, Kane's gonna take 22 damage for his comment. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> he gets shot in the ass by six arrows from oh. the assassins upstairs. Oh boy. Wait, he was still inside the building. Yes, he is. Because they came barreling down the stairs after Linnea jumped out the fucking window. Fair enough. It's a trap. It's a trap. Alright. You're saying Iron Tain shot Iron Chain basically went to Iron a trap. Iron took 20 damage. Oh, I, I know. You're basically saying he went into a trap? Well, no, because you fell on your ass and you haven't gotten up yet. Oof. Help! I'm falling and I can't get up! Old Mount Iron Chain in there. Alright. Uh, it's my turn now, you said? Yep. Alright, I'm gonna draw my short bow and I'm um, gonna knock an arrow. Alright. Oh boy! 22! That hits! Plus 2, oh shit. Fuck. 3 damage. So, you managed to nick one of the assassins. But he kind of just brushes you off, and it's like, really? Really? <laughs> hey, I'm into my rum. Don't, don't judge me. They judge I've had you. A, oh, I've had they a judge long you hard. And with that, it is Iron Chain's turn. Iron Chain is now bleeding, and you are going to roll with disadvantage because Iron you are Chain. injured. Oh. Iron Chain, you better like burst through this wall or some shit because we could really use the help. I Indeed. bet. So and guess what? Keep in mind, guess what? Iron Chain. Keep in mind, you can still go through the front door and circle around to the alley. So you don't have to jump yeah. through the window. Well, Iron Chain just redeemed himself. Get you on, you all know what he got? What? Nat 20, bitches! But is that with your disadvantage roll? That was my disadvantage roll. That was your second roll? Well, you, yeah. know, you know how disadvantage works, right? You roll twice and you take the lower number. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, then the 14. Oh, okay, so, uh, so 20. Oh, I take the so lower number, you said? Yeah, you yeah, take you the, take lower, the number. lower number. Oh, 14. So what are you trying to do? Are you trying to jump out the window again? I might die if I do that again. Are you trying- well no, because you're out of 14. Are you trying to jump out the window again? What are you trying to do? You just rolled and you didn't tell me what you want to do. Oh, uh, yeah, this time I'm jumping out. Let's go. Alright, so Iron Chain gets back up. His leg in the back is wobbling. One of his arms is bleeding from the arrow sticking out of it. And he- Gallops once more and bursts through the wall. Hey, right. there it is. Just for you. <sighs> I really wanted and to see that. I really, really wanted to see that. And the rubble from his exit hits four of the remaining assassins, dealing 60 damage. Oh, sure. I rolled a nat oh, sure. 20 for that, so <sighs> Iron Chain, you did double damage there, so they got. So yeah, they're dead. All all the, at this point, all the assassins that are outside are dead. However, there are still assassins inside. And with that, it is Linnea's turn. We need to check their bodies before the others come. Find out what they knew. Do you really think we have time to do that? We're going to have to fucking make time unless you want to be blindsided again. Fair point. Um... Everyone roll investigation checks. 16. Plus, hold on. Keep in mind you're rolling with... Ricky, keep in mind you are rolling with disadvantage. Yep. So you have to the dice. I understand. Okay. I have a... Oh, 16. Lene so. has a 25. Holy shit. So, so yeah, Cooper and Linnea find three letters written in Thieves Camp. Well... Iron Chain finds um, the Guild Crest, two daggers, and a bag of 2,000 gold and six standard health potions. Holy shit, that's a lot. These people were prepared for battle. 
We've got their intel. Let's go. Linnea yells out. I got a horse around back. As do I. Linnea mounts iron. Iron chain, don't be a, don't be a strength save. Alright, alright. Let's fucking hope he, he rolls high enough. <laughs> I know exactly what you're doing. 16 <laughs> and plus 7, so 23. Holy right. man. Linnea mounts iron chain. <laughs> no horsey. She yells, smacking his tuchus to move him, to jostle him along. I'm bleeding, damn it! Right, run, damn it! Do you not see that I'm bleeding? Fine, I'll fucking heal you. And with that, she is going to roll uh, heal wounds. And that's a nat 20, so she's going to heal twice. Ooh. Ready for You are going to be healed. By 15 points of damage. So you're uh, healing by 15. So you now I can move much more freely. So fucking run! Colton, oh, grab my hand, I'll pull you up! I got my own horse, go! This ride's but gonna be rough. This ride's gonna be rough. grabs Iron Chain's hair and uses to steer him as they ride out. <laughs> Just the heads of Linnea. This, this ride's gonna be tough, you ready? Oh yeah, I'm, rough, I'm always ready ride. for a rough rider. A rough ride, let's go. You, you said it, not me. Party begins riding out of Vandalin as the remaining assassins emerge from the Stonehill Inn and start firing their bows at them and trying to give chase. However, Linnea is going to cast all the person on them. And now it's gonna hit. So they are immobilized. Oh boy. The party, so the party successfully escapes into the Neverwinter Woods and begin riding for some time. And with that, it is Colter's turn. All right, I am going to. Well, I'm gonna mount my my hurdy gurdy, and uh, <laughs> my, my hurdy gurdy. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I'm with them. All right. Yeah, you're with them. You all rode out together. All right. Um, I guess I'm gonna to tell. Uh, I'm gonna apologize to the party for getting them all involved in this. All right, RP it, guys. I um, I wanted to apologize for involving both of you in this. And we're like, family. What the fuck do you expect? Uh, I was just. Okay. I was. I was born to fight. It's all good. It's I knew good. this was going to happen sooner or later. You know, Leopold would come after you because he wanted his boy toy back. Or whoever took over for him would come after you for fucking me. Yeah, that was a, um, a thing that happened. Culper, I'm going to tell you this, though. If we don't make it out alive of this one, I'm going to kick your ass in hell. Yeah. We'll make it out. They aren't that smart. We need mean, to find somebody who knows how to get us, who can get us out of hell, and then we'll be fine. I mean, I I have a friend named Amelie who's his patron is, whose father is literally her patron. Ah. She's a tiefling, and her father literally became her patron. There so you he go. can get us out! Will, will our souls be bound to him for all eternity after that, though? No, he likes me. He do does a favor. Yeah, well, nice. Yeah. Well, I, uh... his daughter. There you go. <laughs> I, I have a place we can crash at. We just have to get to Neverwinter. Well, I fear that we'd be heading there anyways, Linnea states, as yeah. she has opened the letters that they were carrying, and written in thieves' can't. Um, it says, bring me the head of Pulper Townsend, the murderous traitor who betrayed our guild and killed our beloved people. Your contact will be found Wood Tavern in the capital city of Neverland. Know him by the mark of Sanguine. 
We're heading there anyway. Linnea just read this aloud to the party. Looks like we're heading to Never Winter anyway. Yeah. Well, lucky for us, I got a place we can set up shop. And it is big enough for old Thunder Thighs over there. <laughs> hey, don't talk about me that way. I wasn't talking about you. I was talking, no, about, I was talking oh, about the centaur. I, mean, I, I know, it fuck off, hey, boy. Hey, don't, don't shame him. He's don't sick. Him. And the clap of his booty cheeks alerts everyone. You know you like this booty, Linnea. You know you like this booty. Oh, oh, that's that's <laughs> oh my god, I was in full cherry from laughing. Oh my god, that's bad. <laughs> Let me tell you this. Bode is more important than No, 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 no. <laughs> out of character, out of character, the booty, the booty boy. <laughs> no, 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 that's not how you say it. You say it like this. <laughs> oh, yeah. You gotta put emphasis on Aria. I know, I'm, I'm oh, yeah. laughing too much. Alright, let's get back into it though. Right. So the party continues riding on to, on their way to Neverwinter. At this point, they have passed the logging camp. And I want, it is still Culper's turn, so Culper, roll me perception! Rolling perception. It's gonna be 14. Yeah, you don't see it. Shit. All of a sudden, a giant tree collapses in their path. Mm. Linnea manages to pull back on Iron Chain just in time to get him to stop. Culper, on the other hand, you're going to roll me a dex save. Going to be dex save uh, 15. It fails. So, Culper's horse... Hits the, gets crushed by the tree. Um, it hits him right smack down in the back. And Corporal is up flying from his saddle. And you are going to take four damage for that. Shit. I am... I'm hoping that we're going to take a, uh, a long rest soon. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking way too much. You are. Shit. A group of orcs. Oh. Emerges oh. from the woods. Oh, oh fuck. There God. are four of them in total, and they surround the party. And with that, it is Iron Chain's turn. What do you want to do? Uh, let's take. All right, all right, bad boys. What is your business here? We don't want to cause any trouble, but don't, but don't be a bit be alarmed though. If y'all do anything funny, <laughs> expect my foot up to be so far up your ass. I'm as far as the tall road, yeah. you puny horse and puny elf owe us money. Yeah, didn't Give oh, us the shinies. What shinies? What are, you, what are you talking about? I don't got no the shiny shinies. clink clinks that men like to trade. Okay, okay. What's that? What's that TikTok about the the dice? I thought you were referencing it's, that. There's a TikTok about dice. Yeah, it's like. Shiny clickety click. Like, shiny guys, shiny plastic things, they'll clickety clack. And then I it's like, oh, it. shit, I don't know. Actually, I might have heard of it out of character. I might have heard of this myself. I don't know, though. You probably have. It's become a pretty popular. It's quite viral, yeah. All right, let's get back into so it, they, though. So they say, so they, they want money, Iron King. Huh? What is your All response? Right. Do you get do you ask them how much? Do you try to convince persuade them to just let you pass? What do you do? Listen, orcs, I I don't know what money you're talking about, and uh, if you could just let us go in our merry way, we're kind of we kind of don't have time for any of your antics. The orc leader smacks and thumps his um his giant tree stump into the ground. Foolish horse! You no pass without paying toll. And with that, it is Linnea's turn. And she is going to roll to seduce the orcs. There we go. All of them. <laughs> there we go. And keep in mind, she has her trophy with her too, guys. That's in her pack. There you go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She rolled a not 20. There it is. There we go. Linnea... 
gives the orc leader her most dashing smile. Dearest, certainly you wouldn't harm little old me. I'm sure we could come to a, an arrangement where you can let myself and my friends here pass. She dismounts Iron Chain and walks up to the orc, caressing his cheek softly. This orc is like twice her height. So she is standing on her tiptoes. <clears throat> the other orcs watch her, grinning. However, at that moment, her trophy falls out. Is the cast iron, or not, sorry, is the gold cast of her previous kills, nuts and berries. <laughs> the orcs see this <laughs> and grin. So you like orcs, do you? The leader says. Oh yes, I like them. The orc leader says. How about I take you to dinner? The mayor grins and says, I would be delighted. He looks over at her friends, at Iron Chain and Colbert. I guess they can come too. The mayor grins, gives them a thumbs up and says, we'd be delighted to be your guests tonight. And with that, the party follows the orcs. <laughs> Into uh, the trees, uh, to the I want to make it known, and I'm going to say this as Culper, because this is one of the times where he'd break the fourth wall. I wasn't expecting that. that <laughs> Culper, looks over at, Culper looks over at Iron Chains. Were, were you <laughs> expecting that to happen? I'm, I'm kind of confused. Uh, not at all. I didn't expect a dinner date with these, with these fools. <laughs> That, that the man looks so good. Must like having fun like this. I don't know. Interesting. I'm, now I'm scr now I'm starving. What are we eating for dinner? Says I'm hungry now. The orc leader chimes up with deer. Oh, the deer. Ooh. Meat oh, of enjoy, meats. I do enjoy a nice a nice venison stew. Indeed. You get no stew. You get scrap. Me. Horse stays outside. I'm a centaur, damn it. Horse! Silence! Um, one of the orcs approaches Iron Chain <laughs> with a muzzle. Um, Iron Chain, God. roll me a strength oh, save. Uh, 9 plus 7, 16. It fails. They fit the muzzle around Iron Chain. What? You can, yes, you can no longer talk. <laughs> I, look over at Iron, I look over at Iron Chains and I say, Kinky. This is, this is, this is treason. <laughs> he, is led, he is led into the stables and is put into a stall. With uh, that, Culper, Linnea, and the orc uh, enter their lodge. And inside they see a uh, carved dining table sat with all manner of delicacies from freshly grilled fish and sweet and freshly baked sweets to the finest wine and amazingly cooked meats. Linnea looks at Culper and says, see, not all orcs are bad. You just have to know how to talk to them. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. In, in Thieves' Camp, I'm going to say, I'm going to ask her if she's planning on sleeping with this orc again. And these can't. She's gonna be like, "Oh hell no." Good. I, I, I'm gonna say this part in English. They're in common. Good. Aya looks at him and says, "I'm not that much of a hoe." <laughs> uh, I I I have no words. <laughs> I entertain you outside in the stable. You don't hear any of this. <laughs> No, he could just be grumbling to himself out in the stable. Yeah, uh, yeah, out of character. He's literally just like mumbling, just like, why do I have to be in this? Why do okay. I have to have a The orc leader pulls out a chair. Lady, come sit. Eat. The mayor smiles at the orc. Thank you. A female orc pulls out a chair for Colburn on the opposite side of the table. Elfman, come, come here, and taps the chair excitedly. 
All right. That is Colfer's turn. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go awkwardly sit down. All right, Colfer slowly walks over and glances at Linnea from across the table. With a nervous, uh, I gotta say, with a nervous look at Linnea. <laughs> Linnea smiles back in a charming manner. The orc pushes, the orc lady pushes in Culper's chair for him. As, and she grins as she pours him some wine. Come, eat! Thanks. Eat. The orc smiles giddily and claps her hands before walking back into the kitchen. And with that, it is Iron Chain's turn. What do you want to try to do? Do you want to try and break free? You... Yeah. All right, well, well, me. Yeah, go ahead. Well, for strength. Four plus four, eight. No. <laughs> <laughs> You are still bound and captured in the stables. You, Argent, the only thing you manage to do is step in a pile of manure. Uh, you now smell and will take two damage. <laughs> two smell damage? <laughs> what is he, a wizard? <laughs> I hate everything. I hate everyone. <laughs> But no, as a centaur, he has extra sensitive smell, so... Because he's an animal. Uh, he is going to take two smell damage and gag. <laughs> His stomach is now upset as well. <laughs> the other manure is squishing Iron Chain, Iron Chain's literally thinking, when I get out of this, you'll see what happens. If you get out of it. Yes. When I do, not if. When. No, there's, there's an if. There's an if. When. Anyways... And with that, it is the orc leader's turn. Taking his seat at the head of the table, the orc leader smiles at Linnea and Culper. Kind lady, kind man, welcome to home. Enjoy feast. Thanks for having us. Anytime. You're much welcome in this home. The orc blushes when Linnea thanks him. And with that, it is her turn. And she is going to roll an invest, or no, a perception check to see, an investigation check to see if the food is poisoned or not. She got a 10, and that's like plus. So she got a 13 on her perception. And she got a 21. So, she doesn't notice anything wrong with the food at first glance. However, when she looks closer, she, she notices that it's been prepared an odd way. There's some type of coating on it. She notices Culper about to take a piece of meat to his lips and gives a bare shake of her head. And thieves can't, which sounds just like a simple humming noise at this point. She says, don't eat it. I think it's drugs. Pretend, Culper. Pretend. The orc oh, just thought she oh. said pepper when she, when, uh, she said Culper's name. I'm going to turn my head to the side and kind of pretend to bite down, but just kind of push it off with my cheek. All right, roll me a deception check. Oh boy! Oh boy! 19! Yeah, it works. They don't notice. Um, with that, the orc female comes back up and whispers something into the orc leader's ear. The orc leader gets up and leaves, storming out angrily. And she turns to Culper and Linnea. Must run! Must leave now! Friend Why? smart! Lady friend smart. Noticed weapon. Knew not, knew not to fight. Must run. Horse in stable. Go now. I'm going to look over that to Linnea. Did, did you understand any of what she just said? I 
She said I'm smart because I knew not to fight them. Because obviously they could have killed us. You didn't see the weapon in my hands? No. Oh my goodness. Boy, they would have crushed our skulls. Let's go get Iron Chain and get the fuck out of here. Alright, time to go. Yeah, time to go. Iron Chain, party... Iron Chain's pissed at this point. He's just like... <laughs> The orc leader approaches Iron Chain with a knife. Stinky horse! Stinky horse! You cause problem! And he is going to roll for a hit. Does 15 hit? No, it does not. Alrighty, it's gonna miss. And he so he lunges at Iron Chain with the knife. Or Iron Chain and angles and slides to the right. He has the cha cha slide and slides to the right. Slide and, so, to the right. and so the orc leader goes stumbling past him, plunging the knife instead into a wooden post where it gets lodged and stuck. And with that is Colper's turn. At this point, Lene and Colper have run from the main lodge and are following the female orc to the stable. What do you want to do? I <laughs> want to roll a... I'm going to roll a perception check just to see, just to keep myself kind of up to date with everything, because I've been slacking right. on that. Alright, roll. Thirteen. Alright, so you're around, you see the lodge, you see the stables, you see Linnea and the female orc running in front of you, and um, you smell something foul in the air. It smells, it smells like piss and shit and sickness and all the vile things of the world combined into one. Oh, that is a, a terrible smell. Ugh. Do you want to do anything else? Um, I'm pretty content just kind of following on to the, uh... The stables? The stables. <laughs> Alrighty. And with that, it is Iron Chain's turn. All right. What do you want to do? Do you want to try and break free again? Yeah, like I said, I said when I'm going to break free, not if. Roll me a strength save. 12 plus 4 modifiers, so 16. You succeed in getting the muzzle off, but you, don't get the, but you don't get the ropes off. I didn't realize he was bound. I thought yeah. he was just kind of led into the stable. Nope. He was muzzled and then tied to the stable. Ah. Kept just, he's just catching his breath, Iron Chain. What the, he what the hell was that all about? Why was... A ho horse speak! Uh, orc leader yelled, and uh, I'm a centaur. Horse, stinky horse. The orc leader grabs a mace from his belt and raises it aloft, preparing to strike. And with that, it is Linnea's turn. At this point, the party and the female orc have reached the stables. Linnea, seeing the orc leader preparing to bludgeon. Um, Iron Chain is going to draw her bow and attack. And she's going to attack with her long bow. And that's a match 20, motherfuckers! There it is. She's going to do 25 damage. And for her bonus action, she is going to hide in the bushes to try and get a stealth attack. Shit, 25 to me, right? 25 damage to me? No, to the orc leader. This is from Linnea. Oh, okay. And so the orc leader stumbles and drops his mace as Linnea pierces his arm with one of her arrows. <laughs> he roars and turns around, swinging his arm wildly, hitting a post. See, he sees Culper and the female orc. Traitor! He yells. Thieving whore! The female orc cries back, Bastard! And 
also draws a bow. No, she's going to draw a whip from her side. And it's going to roll for her. I I, I'm gonna, works. I'm gonna look at the uh, at her drawing the whip. Look up and down. Look over at the orc and say to the orc, the the orc leader, kinky. <laughs> you wish, puny elf. I am a half elf. I am half human. Get your facts right. Anyways, she got a nat <laughs> twenty as well. And so that is two. And she is going to do ten damage to the leader, knocking the mace from his hand and causing him and striking his eye. Causing him to become blinded. For Papa the female cried out. Is then that Culper notices that there are chains and scars covering the female orc. Signs of torture and enslavement. It is clear that she is a prisoner here as much as they are. And with that, it is once more Culper's turn. I am going to draw my short bow and attack and knock an arrow. Alrighty, roll for hit. Uh, 17 to hit. It hits but just barely. Oh boy. Where's my... I just had a brain fart. Uh, 4 damage. Okay. I am also going to ready an action and draw my short sword. Okay. With that, it is Iron Chain's turn. Alright. What do you want to do? Do you want to, do you want to try and cut the rope's bind in you? Do you want to try and like, chew them to break them? It's a horse. Oh, hell yeah. I'm choosing the ladder. I'm going to... You're going to try to chew the... I'm going to gnaw them to, 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 to smithereen. All right, roll me a dex. A dexterity, just a, a save or a modifier? Modifier. Uh, so that's uh, negative 3 plus 18, 15. You loosen them. Enough to where on your next turn you might be able to break free. And with that, it is the orc leader's turn. He is blind, so he is going to roll with disadvantage. And he is going to try and kill the female orc. He charges at her, and, yeah, he's going to miss. Female orc, seeing the crazed leader charge at her, steps to the side and watches him go flying into the latrine. Cat. Your turn. Orc yeah. got shit on him. Yeah. And with that, it is Linnea's turn. So... As the orc's back is turned towards them, she is going to draw her dagger and go in. For, well, she's going to draw both of her daggers because she has two of them. And she's going to go in for a double sneak attack. Oh, boy. And that is going to hit. She's going to do 15 damage. So, and that's going to kill the sword. So, Linnea leaps from the bushes. Charging at him, both daggers drawn, she jumps onto his back and stabs the orc right in his neck and drags them back in a crisscrossing motion, decapitating him. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, but you don't piss off Renea, boys and girls. And Damn, girl. People. Damn, girl, you just, mm. you just chopped that dude's head off with two freaking daggers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know not to piss me off, Culper. This um, bastard dead. Yeah, that's, that's fair. And that, Linnea walks up to Iron Chain and cuts his bindings. You are now free. The female orc is crying. Tears of joy streaming down her face. Ooh. You save us. Heroes. Friends always welcome here. No trick. 
With that, she takes off her bracelet and hands it to Popper and takes while also removing a necklace and a ring. The ring she presents to Iron Chain, gives him a gentle pat and says, good horse. And the necklace she gives to Linnea, you, you need help, summon, and places the necklace around Linnea's neck. Um, with these charms, everyone is going to get a plus two buff to any stat of their choosing. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> All right. Ugh. I'm gonna do. All right, I got it. Which one? Um. Okay. Everyone got their right, stuff. Yep, I've chosen. I've decided. Cool. Alrighty, and with that, the party. Well, it's still Culper's turn. Culper, you don't have a horse anymore. Do you want to ask her for a horse? Yeah, I'm going to ask her for a horse, but I'm also going to suggest that we take a uh, bit of a long rest. Party. Uh, RP. My friends, mm -hmm. would it be possible for us to procure from you another horse? My my horse was yes. killed in the, that first little scuffle. Horse, Yes. Says, nodding and motions for Culper to follow her back into the stable. I'm gonna right follow her. Right, Culper follows her, and she leads into the sleek Asterian horse. This is one of the fastest horse breeds in the entire world. Um, it also has a high carry weight. And a high HP. This please you. Very much so. Good friend happy I have. Another another question. Would it be possible for us to stay the night and just just to rest and recuperate? We'll be out Not of here in the night. morning. Not all night. Too dangerous. Others come in morning. Like by sunup or before sunup? Before sunup. Yeah. But may rest until I wake. All right. What do you guys? What say you guys? I I say we rest because uh, I'm hurting a little bit. Muscles are they, are aching. Indeed, I'm I'm exhausted. We've had a long day. You guys had a long day. Did y'all see how the orcs traded me? Yeah, you smell like shit. That's, that's the like least that. of the problems right now. Yeah, no one cares, I Chain. Of course y'all don't. Well, some friends you all are. Uh, you well, know. at least you didn't get hurt. <laughs> and, and you know that we love you. Of course we oh. I wouldn't ride you if I didn't. It's like, that's what she said. It's like having toasty by pork shop. <laughs> that was very funny. <laughs> That's what she said. <sighs> With that, the female orc leads them to a bunkhouse. It is furnished extravagantly. The beds are feather soft and light to the touch. The room is the perfect temperature with a small fire going in the hearth. Renea claims the queen size bed while Iron Chain finds a little nest of sorts for him to rest in. Wake! Must wake now! Mm. Alright. This is like before dawn, right? You said? This is right like at yeah, one in the morning. This is like one in oh, the morning. Oh, not even dawn. <laughs> not even the dawn of the... Okay. Yeah, this is like one in the morning. Must go now! Soldiers, come! Human, come! Human! <laughs> Linnea says, are they dressed in dark clothing, and do they have this symbol on them? 
Linnea's bamboo seeds to draw a symbol of a rose attached to a dagger, the symbol of the Thieves' Guild of Neverwinter. The female orc nods excitedly. Yes, our friend! Linnea shakes her head. No, no, we need to go. They're hunting us. At hearing that they are following you, the female orc glares and says, We'll stop. We'll protect, friend. Friend, go. We stop. And with that, she ushers the party out of the bunkhouse and to their horses. Manea mounts up Iron Chain once more. Yeah, she's going to ride Iron Chain this time. Hopper yep. mounts up his black Asturian mare. Her name is Karina. A little, little throwback there. There it is. Hey, I got put in some references, man. There you do. All right. And with that, the party rides out once more, heading towards Neverwinter. With that, it's Iron Chain's turn. What do you want to do, bud? Why do these guys keep attacking us? Well, do, you I, uh, want to or do you want me to? Kind of. I kind of fucked up big time with the guild, and now they, uh... That's for me and everyone that Crazy. I'm associated with, as well he fucked as her. he fucked their leader, he robbed them blind, and then he killed them. You are the very, you are the very definition of disappointment, aren't you? I did not st- rob them blind. That is a wild accusation on their part. Lene is going to roll. Linnea is going to roll an insight check to see if Culper is lying to her. <clears throat> Nat 20, Culper's lying. <laughs> In reality, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to. I know. How she thinks right now. Well, no, Linnea rolled an insight check to see if he was lying and Culper was lying. Yeah. Yeah. He did steal from them. Maybe not to the full extent that they say they, they did, but he definitely stole something. And they want it back. I am disappointed in you, Culper. Linnea looks at Culper from her side eye. And Thieves Camp says, You dirty liar. I thought we were friends. I look at her and in common, I didn't lie. The amount that they said that I stole money. What I stole from them was a lunatic leader that was trying to destroy everything that we worked to build with that guild. So yes, I did steal something, but it, it wasn't it wasn't what they said it was. The mayor rolls her eyes and urges Iron Chain to go faster. Ending the conversation. Now it's that the party continues on in silence. Linnea and Iron Chain no longer fully trusting Colbert. The party rides for the rest of the night into the morning with no um, mishaps and no more attacks. They reach the city gates of Neverwinter and are stopped by the town guard. Halt! Inspection! Everybody off their mounts! Centaur, sit down! Submit yourselves for inspection! I am going to. Um, never mind. No, what are you gonna do? I was going to show them a. a, a like, it, it's supposed to be a seal that I thought that culprit had, but. Apparently he doesn't. Apparently Starbuck has that that seal. Good job, Will. Mm. Papers! Get your papers out! Entrance papers for the city! Oh, I do have something that can help us with that, though. I have a signet ring of a, of a fake duke. Alright, roll for deception. Uh, ten. That fails. Shit. 
Linnaeus, seeing what Colfer was about to show them, smacks uh, his hand away. And Thieves Can says, Idiot! That's clearly a fake! But that, Linnea is going to pull from her pocket a writ of safe passage granted to her by the King of Neverwinter. I believe these will do, darling. The guard looks over the papers and examines them to ensure they are true. Why, Lady Amelia, it is good to see you again. And you as well, to, I'll see you anon. The guards allow the party to pass. And I would like, do you guys want to call Linnea out on being called Amelia? Well, uh, Lady Amelia, what do you want to do? I'm going to keep it to myself until we get past the gate and out of earshot of the guards. You are past the gate and out of earshot. You have been allowed passage. You are in the city. All right. Lady Amelia? One of my many names, dear. There's a lot about me you don't know. Yeah, that shouldn't surprise me. And with that, excuse you? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. With that, a dragon is going to fly. <laughs> <laughs> and there goes all of Neverwinter. It's the white dragon. I didn't say it was the white dragon. I said a dragon. Oh. A dragon flies down and clips Culper on the shoulder. Nat 20, does that hit? Uh, yeah. Copa, you're going to take 20 damage. I don't have 20 damage. Oh, he's a death save. Wait. <laughs> Hold on. I only have, th I only have 13 oh. HP. What? Uh, what? How much damage did you what? take earlier? I took a oh. lot of damage. Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah. You should have healed yourself. That only you only heal yourself when it's a long rest. We took a short oh. rest. Wow. I'm going to... I'm going to say the food that you were given, that you ate some food on the road, and that healed you. Oh, right. That'd be nice. <laughs> How much did it oh. heal him, though? It healed him back to full health. Oh. Uh, and he ate a lot, because he's a little piggy. I'm still going to take a, a, a more than half my health. Good. Maybe I'll teach you to not make comments about, about slut shaming. I didn't. That was a guild's comment. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit! They were both she... in the guild together. They what both know... Called... <laughs> they both know... De they both know, um, expertise in deception. Alright, roll well, deception check. It's not being deceptive! Nine. But I think is insulted and thinks you're, t you're slut shaming her, probably not people she slept with. And once again, she is very upset with you and does not give a fuck with the dragon attacked you. Instead, she waves at it. <laughs> dragon tips a tiger. You're really, you're really just trying to, to will on Culpa <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> this is not right. right. Not just me. Culpa doesn't do you. anything. He's trying to be good intentioned. With that, the party continues on no, to the Driftboard Tavern. Yeah. yeah, first roll of D&D, &D, don't piss off a DM. I'm not trying to! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the party arrives at the Driftwood Tavern. They are now outside of it. Um, and with that, it is Iron Chain's turn. What do you want to do? This is the tavern where the contact that the assassins had is supposed to be. Hmm. Contact with the assassins. I feel. I feel like I want to go find him. You want to go find him? Yeah. Alrighty. So Iron Chain, you are going to enter the Driftwood Tavern. Pulpa, you are going to attempt to follow him. However, Linnea grabs you and yanks you back. <laughs> Moron! Oh, really? They are looking for you. You do not have a disguise on. Can you change your form like me? No? Didn't think so. I You're staying out here. 
Iron right. King, you're already in the tavern. Hmm. Culper tried to follow. However, Linnea is stopping him. They are trying to kill you. I can change my form, but Mal won't ever know it was me. Stay out here, keep watch, or let us know something. Sound fair? Linnea knows, notes the resigned tone in Culper's voice. Cheer up, Buck. We'll get, we'll get through this. We won't let them hurt you. I swear. Then I pats him gently on the shoulder and is going to cast heal wounds on him. Culper, you're going to have your, your full health restored. And then is going to go into the alley next to the tavern and perform her action to change her appearance from a tall, pure-blooded elf into a Asimar, dark blue hair, and piercing coal black eyes. She is the same height, a little bit bulkier, and a lot more intimidating. She enters the tavern after, sorry, after Iron Chain, my apologies. Iron Chain, she hisses. Mm -hmm. Iron Chain, you look around, but you don't recognize anyone since Linnea has changed her form and is now under a different person. You notice an Asimar that had just walked in after you. She bumps you and says, Over here, Horsey. It's me. What do you want to do? Do you want to follow the Asimar? Yeah, I want to figure out this voice. All right. So you follow the Asimar woman to a table in the corner away from prying ears and eyes. Iron Chain, why didn't you come when I asked you? And who are you supposed to be? Oh, all right. It's me, Linnea. What the? You could, you could transform? I'm a changeling, darling. Oh, that think, all makes sense. How do you think I've lost an in and out of another winter for years without the guild noticing me? Oh, that makes sense now. Exactly. Anyways, we're looking for a tall, dark man with the same green symbol on his hat. And I'm going to have both of you roll a perception check. Fifteen plus. <sighs> plus one, sixteen. It's going to be and a... And got a twenty-eight. Or it's going to be a twelve. It's going to be a twelve. So, Culpa, you're looking in through the window, and you see Linnea and Iron Chain, but not much else because it's too dark. Iron Chain, you see mm. the patrons of the bar. You see... Four bards, um, members of the Thieves' Guild and Assassin's Guilds. And sitting at the bar, you see a man, one man. And Linnea looks around, sees all the things that Iron Chain saw. However, uh, she also notices the man at the bar has the, saint, the mark of sanguine, a single rose with the dagger tattooed onto his hand. This is their target and contact. Linnea points this man out to Iron Chain. Iron Chain, the man of the bar, he's the one with, that the um, assassins were contact. The assassins contact. Wait here. I'm going to go up to him. Mm. Very, very well then. With that, Linnea is going to approach the contact. And greet him in thieves' camp. Hello, friend. The deed is done. Never, <coughs> never shall the night fall on Neverwinter. The man grins and says, Well, aren't you a new one? <laughs> we weren't with that lot when they departed. The mayor grins. I'm a specialist, dear. Family call me into the hardest cases. Why don't you tell me? where I can find my employer and if they have anything else on Cooper, any new signs to tie up. 
and she is going to roll persuasion for that, and it's going to work. So I guess not 20? No, 20 not now. Ah. Uh. So yeah, the man looks at her and says, all right, lass, a little strange you don't know where she is, where, where she is, but you're, but Natalia, the new leader of the Thieves Guild of Mount is at the old church in the Never Death Graveyard. As for any loose ends, I'd say that traitorous bastard's family, his little sister most of all, I enjoyed making her scream. Start, all right. I, Culper, you can't hear any of us. You were still outside. Iron Chain, neither can you. Mm. When they are grins at the man, thank you, dearest. I'm going to go and collect my payment. And with that, she is going to roll a sleight of hand check. Not 20. And she is going to tip a poison into the guy's goblet that he is drinking out of without him noticing. And as the man takes a sip, Linnea walks away and motions for Iron Chain to follow her out of the tavern. The party rejoins Clover, and with that is Clover's turn. Oh, I was about to use my disguise kit and sneak in there, because I realized I have a disguise kit in my equipment. Oh, fuck it, you could said something earlier. I, did, I completely forgot that I had it, and then, <laughs> then you started belittling <laughs> Clover, and I was like, oh... That made me depressed. I am. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Um, Oliver was being stupid. Trying to walk in there without a disguise on. Yeah. Um, well. Mama Linnea is trying to watch out for him. Do, uh, Linnea hasn't told Culper what um, what she heard yet, or has no, she? No, they just rejoined, so no. She All hasn't heard right. either of them. Uh. I am going to mm. go into a little RP. I I have a place that we can stay at while we're here. No one knows about it. I, it's a place that I can ensure is safe. Mm. Good. Take us there and I'll tell you what I learned. All right. Follow me. The party follows Culper up the streets of Neverwinter. All the while, Culper has to keep his face hidden. And I'm actually going to have you change into one of your, into your disguise kit now, just because you are in enemy territory. All right. Disguise is on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an actual. Wait, wait, All right. There we, yeah, there we go. Uh, there we go. You only, have a ma- you only have a face mask, though. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes it's good enough. I could put sunglasses on if you want. Yeah. No. What? No, I'll hurt your eyes since you're indoors. Don't do it. They're non prescription. Okay. Oh, no. No, my ear bite. It's a hat. It looks like a party hat. I gotta put my hat back on. No, I need my hat. Okay. Uh, so it's still your turn, Culper. Still my turn? Oh, boy. Joy. It's just up this way. It's, uh,. A little something I had put together before I joined the guild. A little. How come I've never seen this place? No one's known about it. This yeah. is my greatest kept secret. Now I'm curious. Get us inside. Something that I kept hidden from the guild. Mm, I'm curious too. The party approaches the building. And Colfer opens the door and leads them inside. Alrighty. Describe the space, Colfer. It is, is it is a quaint little apartment sized house. The main the main room, which is kind of the den as well as the, the kitchen area. Um a short hallway off to the side with uh, three smaller rooms kind of branching off. It is lit with lanterns 
and uh, and it is Culper's young sister. Oh, you got a young sister, huh? She is a child, you idiot. No, 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 no. I take back what I said. Mm. She was a child when that was taken. Now she must be a grown woman. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've seen her. Well, tonight will be your chance to see her again. They have your family at the Never Death Graveyard. Along with Natalia, the occult's fucking sister. She's leading the guild now. That explains why she wants you dead. Yeah. Yeah, that would really explain it. She and was have... his most devoted follower. Yes. Yes, she was. Now, what the hell are we going to do? Obviously, we have to get Nyla. And Nyla is our character. Nyla is Culper's younger sister's name. Um, we have to get Nyla and the rest of your family out of there before it's too late. They think you're dead because the others haven't reported dead now. And because I kind of convinced them that you were dead. You go there, they know that it was a lie. But if we don't, then they're going to kill your family before they end the day. Hmm. Well, what do you want to do? Uh, it's clear that, um, Culper can't go into, into there. Well, he doesn't, they don't, they don't know that I'm alive. So, if memory serves, there should still be a, almost a church-like structure overlooking the graveyard, no? Yes, that's where Natalia is. Is there... It's been so long since I've been to Neverwinter. Are there any buildings overlooking that church and that graveyard? Something that I could perch from? No, just the gravestones and the monuments. All right. I can try and call in a favor with the royals. Get us some guard support. But it could put your sister's life in danger. Oh no, I can't I can't risk her life or my family's life. So I say we sneak in under cover of darkness. Find your sister, find the rest of your family, cut them loose and sneak them back here where it's safe. The problem is once they know that my family's gone, they'll know that I'm alive. I don't think they're going to stop, Culver. I think you might have to disappear for a while. I have some friends that can make sure you and yours get to safety. To give I, you new identities and a new nation, but they can't. I can't. I have a contact down in Waterdeep. He can get up here if I write to him. I can. He can get up here and get my family on a ship and out of here. No, it would take too long. Write to him anyways. We might need them. Worst comes to worst. We get your family. We hide them. And then when your friend gets here, we board them on his ship. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll get a letter written up and get it sent out with a carrier hawk by nightfall. Very well. And with that, I'm going to have the party take a long rest. As they are going to wait a full eight hours. For Everyone's back to full health. Everyone's back to full health. Right. So, with this, night, when the party awakes, night has fallen. The, the message has been sent. To call for his friend and more deep. It's a who I think it is. Yeah. Cool. Hmm. All right. And with that, 
they disguise themselves. Zendaya pulling out her own disguise to, to hide Iron Chain, and they begin sneaking their way along the streets of Neverwinter, the Never Death Cemetery. With that, I want everyone to roll me a stealth chat. Fourteen. Woohoo! Good job. Ricky? So, uh, negative three plus twelve, so that would be nine. I, three plus I, yeah. twelve, but wait, you said three plus twelve? Negative, negative three. three. It's a negative three. three plus twelve. Yeah, he ain't stealthy at all. <laughs> but now got twenty-six. Can she just like transfer some of those stealth points over to yeah to <laughs> Iron Chain? Iron Chain? Can she actually can she uh, please? I don't think that's how that works. I yeah. doubt it, but good to hope you know. The man is kind of quieting Iron Chain steps behind him, muffling them and distracting anyone that hears him by throwing stones in another direction, ensuring oh, the party right. passes. Safely. I can live with that. They reach the outskirts of Never Death Cemetery. And roll me a perception check, guys. Okay. Uh, 13. Ricky? Uh, 17. I got a 13. So, Iron Chain, you look around. And you see four guards, and among them, they have two hellhounds. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, these guys again. <laughs> Three and kegs. Oh. <laughs> and two harpies as well. Damn. Now the party, the, can the party can attempt to sneak past. You can attempt to persuade and deceive them, but each party member must do that individually. Or you could fight them, which I guarantee they would kill you. Yeah. There's like six of them, right? There's like an army of them, almost. There's ten all together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We are so... F unless, unless we have an insta-kill drop. We are so screwed. Oh, yeah, I, gotta say that, I gotta say that as culprit, because I'm, I'm breaking the board wall. That we are yeah. so screwed. And then he looks at Iron Chain and says, Yeah, yeah we are. Especially with Thunder Thighs over there. Really? Fuck you, man. <laughs> Fuck you, man. You wish, Iron Chain, you wish. Not you. I'm not talking to you. I know, you wish Culpa would ride you, though. No, said anything about that. <laughs> we could always admit it, I, something. Iron out of character, admit it, Iron Chain's a bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky will never admit that, but you and I know it's true. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't. Culpa's clearly a top. You want you want this horse cock? Oh. No, no. <laughs> no, I don't. Just the thought, don't. You know you want it, boy. Just the thought of it alone terrifies me and disgusts me. And the iron chain, <laughs> ask you, mentioning horse cock. Um, the guards overhear him and send their hellhounds to investigate. God. And then, you guys. <laughs> everyone. <laughs> Like Don't I said, the clap of his foot, out of character, out of character, the clap of Iron Chain's booty cheeks alerted them. Of course. It's always Iron Chain's and, fault. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to have everyone roll me a, a deception check. That's going to be a 15 for me. 15? Mm-hmm. Uh, I got a 28. Hold on. Yeah. A 5. Negative 2 plus 5. Oh. 3. Oh, three. oh Iron Chain, no. Oh, so, 
So Copa and Linnea, uh, they blend in with the background and the, the and their sense are hidden because they were smart and rub themselves down with herbs to hide their smell. Iron Chain, on the other hand, is discovered by them. And the hellhounds begin barking and snapping at him. What do you want to do? Do you want to try and fight them and risk alerting the rest of the guards? Do you want to try and persuade them by using an animal handling skill? Yeah, I'm going to use the animal hand handling skill. Well. Nineteen. Nineteen? Yep. Yeah. So not yep. only do you get them to stop barking, and you turn them into your obedient pets. They will now oh. at your side and deceive the guards into helping you pass. I'm going to name you Fluffy, you Whiskers, and you Bubbles. When there There's, only two. Them? There's only two. There's only two. Also, oh, I'm gonna name you Fluffy, and I'm gonna name you, and I'm gonna name you Whiskers. Fluffy and Whiskers give a happy yip and their tails wag. Out of character, out of character. Do you know the reference I made with Fluffy, the Hellhound? <laughs> no. no, that's from uh, Call of Duty Zombies with uh, Samantha Max. Of the, the, Rick Toppin, the whole, the whole Rick Toppin thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and Maxis. Anyways, uh, yep. So the Hellhounds. Having turned against their original masters, lunge, turn around, and run back towards them. They lunge at the guards and the harpies, and they hit them. The harpies are going to take 10 damage, and the guards are each going to take 12 damage. Oh, damn. Yeah. The hellhounds continue running down the street. And the guards and the harpies give chase, giving the party an opportunity to sneak into the Never Death Cemetery. That might have this must have this might have been the best thing that's ever happened to me, like ever. <laughs> especially on one of my camps. Yeah. Yeah. yeah especially you. you. <laughs> I'm a hard like, ass. I know. She is a, she is a, <laughs> she is a hard yeah. DM. <laughs> this makes it all the more fun. Yeah, right? It makes it all the more fun. Alright, so you guys want to sneak into the cemetery? Let's do it. Alright, so the party keeping low to the ground hearing cursings and screeches and barks off in the distance now successfully infiltrate the Never Death Cemetery. And with that, it is Culper's turn. What do you want to do? I want to do a perception check, see if I can't find my... See if I can't figure out where my family is. Alright, roll for it. 17. 17? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so you, so you look around and you can faintly hear the sound of muffled screaming. And the scream is clearly of a young woman. Um, it sounds as though they are in great pain. And you see flecks of blood along the paths. It is clear that someone was injured here. Do you want to do anything else? Do you want to point this out to the party? What do you want to do? Yeah, I'm going to point it out to the party. Um... Right here. Uh, shit. That uh, kind of caught me off guard. Um, <laughs> Linnea, Iron Chain. Mm -hmm. Keep keep an eye on thing. Keep an eye up. There's blood on the ground, and it's it's leading in a trail. And uh, I thought I heard my sister screaming up ahead. Oh shit! Linnea pales. Oh, I'm so sorry. I swear to you, we'll get them out. That's the thing, though. It didn't. It didn't sound like she was in pain or or a scream of joy. It. It's. It is a. 
uh, the sound of pure terror. Like torture almost you're talking about. No. Not even? No. Torture would have yeah, been a, a scream fear. of pain. This is pure... This is fear. Pure oh. fear. Oh, shit. Let's get them. Let's, Let's go, go now. Oh. My comp- and my little pets are going to help as well. Your pets are off in the distance, so... They can't help them. right now. Oh. Okay. All right, that Welcome. is Iron Chain's turn. What do you want to do? They'll come when they're needed. Hey. You want to fire the trail? Can I- I was gonna say, can I call my uh, can I call my hellhounds to sniff out the trail? We already have the trail. It's the trail of blood. Uh, yes. Yeah, so let's go investigate it. So roll me an investigation check. <clears throat> oh, two. Two. Yeah, two. You walk into a tree. What did you say? You no, 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 we don't need any more, Ricky. There's plenty. We're in a cemetery. We don't need there enough more. trees here. Yes, yes, yes. There are plenty. <sighs> sit down. Just sit down. Sit down. <sighs> oh, There's only really three fresh. trees in the entire cemetery. That's plenty. That's plenty. That's not it's, enough. It's plenty. It's plenty. It's not enough. Plenty. 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 <laughs> I was trying to keep that off the video. I, oh, didn't, I, have enough, the video. I didn't have enough time to pause the video. <laughs> now they need to see this. They really don't. I'm a fucking chill again. <laughs> 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 Alright, you know what? I'm a fucking cherry. <laughs> when Iron Chain did that, he knocked acorn seeds. Into the soil. <laughs> Where they landed, new trees will grow. Let's go, baby. I didn't realize. I, never, I didn't realize it was part druid. <laughs> Can never be enough trees. You should have been a druid. Apparently, the fighter's a druid. I guess I am. Was was saying that. That wasn't me saying that. That was Colton. I, <laughs> I guess I am part druid as well. And with that, it is Linnea's turn. She is also going to roll an investigation check. 29! Um, of course. So Linnea, Linnea reaches out. Don't even ask at this point. I have a plus 9 modifier on my investigation. Holy shit. Yeah. I, was, I just learned just not to ask anymore when it comes to Taylor. I mean, I have a plus five. I have 20 mouse. clean, boys. Yeah. I mean, don't, even, don't even ask at this point. Renea reaches down and touches the pool of blood, rubbing it between her fingers. She notices that it is fresh and that it leads in a clear you make any moves on Culper's sister, he will skin you and flay that's you. Not, that's not Culper's sister. Benjamina was Leopold's sister. Oh! Wasn't it like Nadia or something? No, Nyla is Culper's sister. Oh. Mm hmm. Alright. Linnea is going to point this out to the party. Culper, Iron Chain. The blood leads directly to Natalia in the church. So well, don't just stand there. Let's go. That's the same direction I heard this, the muffled screams of my sister. All right. Where are we staying around then? Let's get the fuck moving. And with that... Can you tell that Culver just doesn't want to get into this fight because he knows that there could be collateral damage? Mm-hmm. And the yeah. only collateral damage will be... His family. Yep. We know. So, with that, the party sneaks along the path. Iron chains, booty cheeks clapping all the way. Booty, booty. Booty uh, is more important than mm-hmm. drinking water. Mm-hmm. Booty boy. Wow. Booty boy. That is Iron Chang. He is the booty warrior. He is the booty warrior. 
<laughs> and here we go. So the party reaches the old church, and I am going to have everyone roll a perception check. That is a 15. A nat 1. A nat 1. Iron Chain, you don't see shit. He's blind. Yep, he's literally blind. (laughs) And Lene got 18. So Copa and Lene look around. They look through the window. And they see Natalia grabbing Nyla by her hair and hoisting her up. Nyla is bound in chains. Unable to move or resist in any way. There are cuts all over her body. And it's clear she has been tortured. They also notice um, Clopper's parents chained to the opposite wall behind Natalia and Nyla. They have several bruises on them and their clothes are torn. But other than that, they appear to be unharmed. Now, if that is Culper's turn, what do you want to do? Um, we're in we're in the same room, or are we? We're outside. We're outside we're looking. looking the- Does the wind? Can the window be opened, or is it one of those giant stained glass windows? This one cannot be opened. Shit. All right. Um. Do you want a little perception and see if there is any open window, so ones that can be opened? Yeah. He's going to do that. Twelve. Twelve? Mm-hmm. You spot a single window about 20 feet above your head. Do you want to do anything else? Do you want to point out what you saw to Iron yeah. Chain because he's blind? Um... Linnea, Iron Chain. Hmm? About 20 feet up, there's an open window. Iron Chain may not be able to get into it, but Linnea, you and I should be able to sneak into it. We stand on Iron Chain's back. You lift me on your shoulders, I'll pull you through. Yep. Uh, All right. Get in position, boys. Iron Chain, once we're through, try to find... A way in, but be quick about it. We we don't have time. If you have to burst through a window, I'd I'd burst through a window. All right, but That's like try not to break a wall this time. If you do, no the problem. entire is... might come down on us. Yeah, this place is pretty decrepit. No mm-hmm. promises made. Just try to find a door this time and be quick about try, it. Try. All right. Th- no, thanks, I'll... God. Linnea and Clopper are going to roll acrobatic shots. Oh boy. Not 20. Oh, right, yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit. They also got a nat 20. Good job. Your first nat 20 of the night. Sorry. Y'all getting on this boat, eh, Warrior? Yes. So they position iron chick. <laughs> and I'm really so I position <laughs> up just beneath the window. Coper climbs onto him first, and then hoists Linnea up as well. Linnea just barely is able to reach the window. However, she also has a piece of rope in her kit. She pulls herself through the open window, ties the rope around her waist, and secures it on the other side. Or dropping gas back down and holding her hands up to Copa to pay. Copa, do you take it? it? I'm going to take her hand. All right, and I am going to roll a strength save. Ooh, it's a 16. I'm going to say it passes. Just barely. <laughs> um, so Linnea heaves with all her might and pulls Copa up into the building with her. And with that, it is Iron Chain's turn. So you are outside. You gotta try and find a way in. What do you want to do? 
let's try to find a way in, shall we? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to do that? Do you want to look around and see if you can find a way in? Do you want to burst through a window? Preferably using the burst into a window as like a last resort. Mm -hmm. you know or, or as a distraction. You can do that to distract them. You know what? I, I got enough balls to go through that window. Let's go. I mean, you got y'all know I got big enough balls for this. No, no, Lumi Athletics. <clears throat> Two plus four, six. No, you fall on your face and you take five <laughs> damage. Oh, man. Told your you I was not close. Your face is all scraped up, and you are bleeding. You are going to roll with disadvantage. And with that, it is Natalia's turn. And she is going to hit Nyla with her fist across the face. And it's going to hit. Nyla is going to take three damage. And this is going to enrage Cooper. You are now going to go like a berserker. Oh shit! All right. Well, wow. there's all control, all self. I am going to go for a sneak attack with my short bow. You and that sneak attack in a berserk situation. Are you serious? I am dead serious. <sighs> you used this to get hit. It's not your turn yet, anyways. It's Linnea's. Oh, fuck. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to have everyone roll for initiative again. Alright. My initiative is going to be 14. 14? Mine's going to be 14. Mine's going to be 3. My negative 3 plus 6, so it's 3. Um, yeah, ouch. And Linnea got nine. Linnea got 22. Holy shit. Yeah. So she's still going to go first. So the order is Linnea, Natalia, Culper, and Iron Chain. Linnea, seeing Culper enraged, smacks him once, looks at him, and says, and thieves can't get your shit together. I know it sucks. I know she hurt your sister. But you are no good to her in a rage. And with that, that is going to knock Culper out of his rage, but he is going to take one point of damage for that. Oh, fun. Yeah. Oh, I'm so and with that, good. Linnea is going to do a sneak attack and draw her longbow and try and hit Natalia. <coughs> Excuse me. That's brutal. Try and hit Natalia in the head and try and kill her. And it's going to miss. The arrow goes way over Natalia's head. She looks up thinking she heard something. Doesn't see anything. The arrow is now sticking in the opposite wall. Alright. Just so you guys know, that was a nat one. <laughs> wow, the nat 20 finally got a nat one. That's only like my, what, sixth nat one since we started yeah. playing? Yeah, yeah, it's been true. less. It's probably like your third or fourth. Shit. Really? It's that? I thought it was five-ish. Yeah, she doesn't get nat, nat ones at all. Oh, yeah. Funny. All right. <laughs> I know, she finally did. So, it's Natalia's turn, or is it... Or it's yeah, it's, it's Natalia's turn now. Um, I just wanted to see your guys' reaction to that before I did that. Natalia, after hitting Myla, grabbed, hoists her back up by her hair, and screams into her face, where is... The amulet, you pathetic wretch. Nyla cries back, I don't know what you're talking about. Please stop. Nyla is crying, tears streaming down her face. There's, there's only one person that that fool would have entrusted it to, and that's his precious little Nyla. <laughs> he mocks. <laughs> Nyla says, I haven't seen my brother since we were children. Please, just let us go. Nyla sneers. 
and throw, or, sorry, Natalia sneers and throws Nyla against the wall. And Nyla hits her head and falls unconscious, taking another 10 damage. Damn! Yeah! <laughs> Natalia hits hard, guys. Fair warning. Oh, yeah. I can see this that. This is gonna be, this is like the final boss fight. Oh, God. It's Big, ba- it's big Bad Evil Guy time? Big Bad Evil Guy okay, time. Well, yeah, this one's well, to Iron Pin still has to get in. He hasn't gotten in yet. Yeah. Iron Pin is so cool, boo. And with that, it is Culper's turn. All right, I'm going to draw my short bow, knock an arrow, and try to try to pierce Natalia in the heart from behind. All right, right, roll. Holy shit, 20 not nat. 20 nat, baby. Doesn't hit. Doesn't hit. What? No. What? Her armor class what is, is 21. What? what? Yeah. How are you supposed to... You have to get, like, high rolls, and you have to rely on your modifiers for help. True. What I can see that. Fuck? That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I made this hard, guys. This is la- this, l- let me put this way. <laughs> <You're feeling laughs> right. Yeah. Let me put it this way, there are other ways to beat this boss. Oh. There are other ways. <laughs> that's just pure evil right there. That's like, <laughs> that will say, that's, that's, I will say. I will say, if if I had succeeded in that, because it was a sneak attack, it would have been an additional 2d6. Uh-huh. On top of the 1d6 plus 2. Yeah. That's a lot of that's a lot of damage. Lot of damage. Went to been off. No, I know, but damn. Went to be would not have even gone here below half if you scored all six. Damn. Shit. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be a hard boss, especially when it's just three of us. <laughs> so alerted to Culper's presence now by his Failed arrow that just glances off of her armor. Wait, she, really, she, doesn't have, she doesn't have. What kind of armor? She has she medium have? armor. Medium armor. Can they have? Rogues can only have light armor. She's she's not just a rogue. Oh. She's also a barbarian. Oh, for fuck's sake! Yeah, motherfucker. That would have been a, a nice little tip to tell us before we started fighting her. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not the one that didn't roll for investigation or perception. You didn't roll, so can't. Oh, boy. You know, I followed your lead. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're getting all red again. <laughs> <laughs> your choices have consequences. Natalia looks up. I am the attic. I I am the attic goblin. I live in the attic. This is my trash. This is my hammer. I bring the hammer I am down. The goblin that lives in the attic. This is my trash. This is my hammer. <laughs> but anyways, back to it. Natalia looks up and grins when she spies Culper. Hello, traitor. Come, come to die. No. Come to end come you. To gi- hmm. Pity, I was hoping you came to give me what was owed. The you? sanguinous. The sanguinous is an ancient talisman and chalice. One that Culper hid before fleeing never went for. You're not getting anything. One. Tell me, and tell two. me what it is and I will let them go. You're not coming out of this chamber alive. She I hope laughed. you realize that. Natalia laughs and says, You're a fool if you think you can take me by yourself. She has not spotted Iron Chain or Linnea at this point. And with that, it is now Iron Chain's turn. Iron Chain, you are still outside. Do you want to try running in through the window again? 
Oh, no, 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 no. What do you want to do? What's my other option? You can try going in through the front door. You can try looking for another way. You know, I'm going to try to find another way. I can't. My, right, well, my big ass, my big ass, his big ass won't fit into a front door. Have you ever seen church doors? They open pretty wide. Yeah, that's true, they do. But I too wants to find a different way. All right, roll an investigation check. Oh, why am I getting such poor rolls right now? What'd you get? Four. You look around, you don't see anything. It's too dark. And with that, it is Linnea's turn. And she is actually going to go and do a medicine check on Nyla while um, Natalia's back is turned and try and free Nyla and Culver's parents. Nat 20 for both bitches. Bullshit. Yeah. So, Linnea runs over, quietly sneaking behind Natalia. And is able to stiffly wake Nyla, who, while a little dazed and disoriented, recognizes that Linnea is a friend and not there to hurt her. Linnea then is able to pick the locks of the chains binding Holper's family and motions to him that she's sneaking them out through the back door of the church. And with that, it is Natalia's turn. Holper, you still have to try and keep Natalia distracted. If she notices Linnea out of the corner of her eye, they will be caught. And your family will be in danger. Alrighty, and she is going to roll for seduction on Culper. And does 25 hit well? Yeah, that beats my um, constitution modifier. Actually, uh, yeah, yeah. And my constitution score is a ten, so. Roll me a con it. save. Roll me a con save. Seven. Yeah, it fails. So. Yeah. It would have. It would have failed no matter. Even if I were rolling at twenty, it would have failed. No, because I would have. If you had gone to nat twenty, I would have let you double it. Oh. But oh. anyways. Sure. Natalia walks up to you, uh, Culper, and strokes your cheek and nestles her head against you, leaning in to whisper in your ear. You can feel her hot breath tickling the shell. Come now, dear one. You don't think I you didn't think I forgot all those long nights. With you and me and Leopold, where we'd sit up for hours just talking, whispering to each other our darkest secrets. Won't you tell me yours again? Where did you hide my sanguineness? And you are now seduced. So, you will do anything she asks of you. Shit. Mm. Answer her question, Will. Where's her sanguinous? I sent it away on a ship across the sea. Where? Truth be told, I don't know. I just kind of dropped it off. I just kind of dropped it off in the hold of a ship. Not really paying any attention as to where it would go. What's the ship's name, love? Argia. Argia? Argia. Oh, okay. Where did it go? There we go. Hold on a second. I gotta pause it again. And we're back. Sorry about the delay, ladies and gents, and miscellaneous. Um, so anyways, that's <laughs> going to end Natalia's turn, and that brings us to Culper. I'm going to roll a, 
a con save. <laughs> oh, I want to try to production. Shit. <laughs> First I roll a seven, now I roll an eight. This is bad. It fails. <laughs> it fails yeah. hardcore. Yeah. With that, it is Iron Chain. You are still outside. Roll me a perception oh, check. Roll me a perception check. Four. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> I got all of I'm trying to throw you a bone, man. Yeah, my rules suck right now. I guess, I guess, uh, Iron Chain comes yeah. to the planet. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hear a door slam open. That's it. And then you hear Linnea yell, Iron Chain, get your ass over here. <laughs> oh, wow, Pat. You follow her voice and see a, an open back door where... Culper's family is with Linnea. I have you are to take Nyla Culp, and Culper's parents and bring them back to the safe house. Call your hellhounds and Very well. keep them safe. Hey, like that, Whis whiskers, come here. You hear two barks echoing down the road as they bound towards you. Um, you lower yourself down and present your back for the wounded individuals. They mount you and you ride off to the safe house. And with that, it is Linnea's turn. Linnea re-enters the building and having seen Culper clearly under some type of seduction, decides to seduce Natalia. Now with that, she's going to roll for seduction. She got a 26. Well, damn. So yeah, it's going to work. Linnea saunters back in, swaying her hips left and right, her bosom jiggling with every step under her armor. She flips her hair over her shoulder and approaches Natalia. Hello, sweet thing. How about you and I go and have some fun and leave petty little boy there in the corner? After all, we all know he's a petulant child. I don't Natalia, know how to respond to that. <laughs> Natalia glances over and says, Nenea, it's been too long, dear. Hello, Nadi. Don't you remember when you would go on those moonlit strolls, our skinny dips into the sea, those mermen? <laughs> and how you introduced me to my first orc. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the master at making disturbed. And confused faces. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Natalia grins and says, Oh, oh, I do very much. I've missed those days. Have you come back to me then? I, I have. Let's say you and I retire upstairs and defile this church again. <laughs> Natalia grins and agrees. <laughs> and the two go upstairs. Natalia turns ahead to Culper and says, follow. <laughs> Excuse me? What? <laughs> Shit. Culper has no choice and follows the two women upstairs. Linnea enters a, a small circular chamber at the top first, and as Natalia tries to follow after her, Linnea is going to roll the hit in Natalia's armor class because her guard is down, has now dropped, and that's going to hit. And Linnea is going to stab Natalia in her throat and pin her to the wall. She is going to then deal with the seduction of her. Yeah, 
Natalia get, takes 100 damage. Ooh. Did that kill her? No. She's just very weird. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know that I want to know what her HP is, but I kind of do. <laughs> but don't. Don't That's tell me. Insane. Don't tell is us. It, is, it like even <laughs> is it like even halfway defeated right now? or? No. Oh my god. Oh, well. So you're saying she's got something like 250, 300 armor? Uh, HP? HP, yeah. But because she is under the effects of seduction, and because the man just stabbed her in the throat, um, her armor class is now greatly reduced. Well, shit. Because Natalia can no longer communicate. The seduction is over on Culper, who snaps out of it. Ugh. That's sad. All right. Yeah. Hi. Natalia is gargling blood, her vocal cords destroyed. She glares at Linnea, and but that is Natalia's turn. And she is going to go into hit on Linnea. And that's a nat one. <laughs> that's two nat ones in one game, guys. Damn. <laughs> well, apparently our DM is from the planet. Damn. Yeah. Post it in the comments what movie that's from. Let's see how many of you get that movie right. So yeah, Natalia misses. She lung after lunging for Linnea, she instead goes crashing through a window and is holding on for dear life. Keep in mind they are now on like they are now over t about a thousand feet in the air. Damn, that's a big ass church. <laughs> yeah, it is. They're in the tower of the church. The balcony. Even still, no church tower that I know of is a thousand feet. Yeah, it's pretty tall. Yeah, that is um, that is a feat of, en of architecture and engineering right there. I'm sorry, yeah. out of character. That is a complete feat of engineering right there. Um. Yeah. With that, it is Culper's turn. Keep in mind, if Natalia falls down, she will die. No ifs, ands, or buts. What do you want to do? Do you want to try and I, save uh, her for old time's sake? Nope. Nope. She she dies. She attacked my family. She dies. The bitch All right. Go for well hit. Go well for hit. <laughs> uh, shit. Um, five. Plus, wait. Yeah, it's not going to do anything. <laughs> Even with the short turn. Uh, nine. <laughs> Let's see. So you try to stomp on Talia's hands. However, you miss, and she reaches up and grabs your ankle, pulling you down what? off the ledge. However, roll me a dex save. Oh, boy. Uh, oh. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen? Yeah, sixteen. As you were... As you are falling, you are able to grab onto Natalia, basically bear hugging her to stay from falling to your death. And with that, it is Linnea's turn. Linnea, having seen Culper go over the edge, screams and runs towards the window. Culper! She sees him. I'm right here. But barely. You lucky son of a bitch! Natalia is gargling still. She reaches up to try and claw at Linnea. Linnea is going to roll to hit on Natalia. And that's going to hit. She slams her feet down on both of Natalia's hands, causing her to let go. However, she is also going to roll a deck save. And that's a nat 20. Ugh. As Natalia lets go, Linnea grabs Culper, oh, holding oh. on to him. Let go! Let go of her! Culper does so, and Natalia plunges oh, to the ground. And Linnea hoists Culper back up. <sighs> However, as Natalia has landed on the ground, more of the guild members have arrived and are racing up to the tower. They see 
They saw Natalia's body. They see Nea and Culper. Traitors. We need Manea to now. Yeah. Manea draws her bow and fires a warning shot. They know if they come closer, she will hit them and kill them. You were the best archer among all of us. Damn straight. And I still am. And they know it. Yeah. Cooper Townsend! No matter where you go, no matter where you lay your head, you and yours will face a reckoning. We will always find you. We will always hunt you. They you stand go, aside. You go ahead and try, sweetheart. They stand aside. However, in the distance, Culper notices smoke rising where the safe house once stood. Culper? We need Manea to leave. Linnea agrees, and the two begin running down and out the back door that Linnea had smuggled Culper's family out of as the cultists swarm the church. Or, sorry, assassins swarm the church. And with that, I'm going to have you and I roll a stealth check. Holy shit, 20 on that. I got 12. So, Culper manages to sneak through the gardens again, not making a sound. Linnea steps on a toy collar alerting one of the heartbeats to their presence. But, uh, with that, Iron Chain is going to come galloping in, and he is going to roll me a strength save. Uh, 18 plus 7, 25. Awesome. You are going to ride in and grab Colfer and Linnea and hoist them onto your back and take off running. What the hell happened? Linnea demands of Iron Chain. It looks like uh, there's smoke that way. Did you get uh, them out? Are they safe? Yes, they are all they're all safe. Don't worry about that. I came for y'all. I'm trying to save as many as I can. This is some danger we are in, I tell you. Where's my, where's my family? They are safe. I can assure you of that. With that, Iron Chain holds up a symbol of a single star flight. And Linnea is going to roll a history check. I'm going to do the Yep, go ahead. That's going to be a 18. Yeah, so Linnea and Culper both recognize it as the sigil of the royal family of Neverwinter. Um, Linnea, however, has the biggest grin on her face. She looks at Culper and says, My friend came through. Your family is now under the protection of her royal majesty, Queen Serada de Sol of Neverwinter. She will keep them safe until we can get them out. Oh. However, assassins can easily infiltrate palaces. Culper, I think it's time that we used your friend and got all of you out of here. You heard them. They won't stop hunting you. And as of now, they have burned down your only safe house in Neverwinter. Luckily, I've got one in Waterdeep. All right. I think you should take your family and go back. Well, that's the other thing. I, uh, in my letter, I asked my friend to, to come here to, to Neverwinter to, uh, to help get my family out of here. Very well. I'm, I'm certain that they will be willing to, that the day souls will be willing to host us 
until your friend arrives. Should so the party, day. yeah. So it's going to be a day until Hofer's friend arrives. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have figured out who Colfer's friend is. I will say this. He has been featured before in some videos. I won't say which ones. Yeah. Anyways. Iron Chain carries the party through the city streets, carefully avoiding the assassins lurking behind every corridor and into the Neverwinter castle. With that, the party is greeted by Queen Serrata de Sol, who upon seeing Linnea cries, Amelia, so good to see you, my dearest. And you, and, and you as well, Serrata. It's been, what, five years? Six? Six, but who's counting? And these must be your friends, the brave and noble Pulper Townsend, I presume? You assume correct. I have, your sisters told me much about you. Such a sweet girl. Yes, it's a, it's a shame that uh, those ruffians dead by her, their hands on her. I promise you, my men will be out in the morning scouring the city for their survivors. We will strike them down. Well, seeing as I only left their guild, the guild, two years ago, or two and a half years now, it, uh, I might be able to tell you where some of their, their guilds are. And Excellent. explain why they, uh, they're, they become so radical in their ways. Excellent. You may tell me all of this over dinner. I'm certain your family would like to see you safe as well. With that would that, be nice. And with that, the party follows Queen Serata to the Grand Dining Hall of Never, the Neverwinter Castle. Uh, Colfer is reunited with his parents and his sister, Nyla, who throws her arms around him upon seeing him, crying tears of joy. Hey, kiddo. It's been a you long time. You stupid idiot. Do you know how worried I was about you? I know. It wasn't fair of me to leave you in the dark like that, but... Uh, you never write. You never come home. What would... We thought you were dead. I know. I know. And that, that wasn't fair of me. Well, you're here now. That's what matters. Yeah. I want you to come meet my husband. Husband. So then, yes. That's right. You weren't. You didn't get my letter then about the wedding. You never showed up. A man, a burly, tall man, approaches and gently lays his hand on Nyla's shoulder. Might I introduce Sir Lucien Lochon? So Lucien, of Neverwinter. So Lucien, you. <sighs> you don't, you don't have to call me sir. We're family after all. He holds out his hand to Colbert. I take his hand and shake it. As he's shaking it, Lucien pulls Colbert in and hugs him fiercely. Nyla's been so worried about you. I'm glad you're safe, brother. It's been a long journey home. Indeed. Anyways. Lucien thanks Culper for and the party for coming to their aid. And they all sit down for a family meal. 
As, however, none of the party addresses Linnea as Linnea during this. They all address her as Amelia. And that's how she is addressed by all the guards and the royals within the building. With that, after their dinner, the party is brought to rooms and takes a long rest. Everyone is now back up to full health. And as a matter of fact, I would like everyone to level up one level. All right. So, level up. I'm actually going to become a multi class. Oh, and I can't. If I were to multi class, I could be a fighter, a barbarian, or a wizard, or an artificial. Yeah. Kind of hoping to do a uh, a, ro a ranger rogue, but that's okay. Um, I guess I'll I have to do bard, bro. Mm -hmm. I can't even do bard. I know. <laughs> I guess I'll go with wizard because then I can at least cast some spells. <laughs> that only gave me four HP. I got yeah. ten. That's well. That's because I went with a wizard, and freaking wizards don't. Uh, have no, they don't get jack shit. You sneeze they on them and they die. And they're in death. Basically, yeah. you sneeze on them and they're dead. <laughs> Anyways, the next day, um, a letter arrives for Cooper from the harbor. His friend has arrived, and his ship, the Argia has come to take them away. The party approaches the docks <coughs> under cover and under heavy guard. Manea, knowing Culper will be leaving on the ship and that they might not see each other for some time, pulls him aside to have one last chat. Well, old friend, we certainly made a right mess of things on the home front, hadn't we? It wouldn't be an adventure for us if we didn't. <laughs> Too true. I wish you the best. Know this. We will never stop fighting. And we will. One day you will be able to come home. I swear to you. Until then, my brother. Stay safe. And take care of yourselves. Then I am Bryce's culprit. And gives him a gentle peck on the forehead. You take care of yourself, Linnea. Always. I'll, uh, I think I'm going to try to take over the guild in Waterdeep. Bring about a Is reform. That... Bring about a change. This this guild in Neverwinter, they're, they're a radical group. When, yeah, by the time I, I left, they had been cut off from all the other branches. Should you ever need our aid, call upon us in Thandalin, and we will come, I and, swear. And you I. And with that, Linnea and Popper return to the group. Iron Chain, do you want to say any last words to Popper before he leaves? Popper, I've known you for a while, man. And I gotta say, you was one of my closest friends, you know that? You and Linnea here. I know, buddy. The mayor is yourself. trying to hold back tears. As you, bro. Nyla and Lucian thank the party once more and Queen Serata for all their help before boarding the Argia. Culper looks back one last time. He gives a smile, a nod, and a tip of his hat to his friends before boarding the ship. Captain Starbuck Talmud walks down the gangplank to the docks. I assume that you're Cooper's friend then. Uh, At this uh, point, yeah, sorry, so I got distracted. Yeah, that's, uh, that, that's me. I, uh, when I received his his message and his his post, I knew I had to come right away. 
you, you don't mess with a man's family. No, no, you do not. All right. So the letter that Culper sent to Starbuck not only asked for him to come and help take his family away, it also asked for Starbuck to take Culper's place in the party and to defend uh, Culper's friends, Linnea, Toasty, and Iron Chain, as well as the town of Phandalin. For without that, for without Culper, they would be down a friend and they would most likely fall. RP, tell right. them what was in the letter. In his letter, Culper asked that I take his place. I, I know that it would be strange for me to just assume that I'll be accepted with open arms, but know that I can hold my own and that I can have everyone's back. I hope I vouch for you. That's enough for me, Starbuck. I say welcome aboard. And a friend of Culper's is a friend of mine. So, I accept. I reach out my hand. Linnea shakes it firmly. All while looking at the Argia as it begins to sail away. Uh, a tear sliding down her cheek. Knowing with each second her friend gets further and further away. As Culper was the first person that she ever busted. Alrighty. Iron Chain, is there anything you would like to say to Starbuck? Well, like I said, Starbuck, welcome aboard. We are we are indeed going to miss Culper though. He was a good he was a really good friend and a strong warrior. Well, he is. well if we ever need him or we need any sort of information, I know a couple ways to get in touch with him. The Fandolin where we belong. I've had enough of the city. Fandolin. I haven't been there in ages. You know it's it. Peaceful. I've been to Fandolin many times. Shortly <laughs> after a ship that I was on, that I chartered passage on was sunk by a nasty kraken. Oh, I think I've, I've heard of that. Yeah, it was uh, ironically. You know it was sailing to Waterdeep from Neverwinter. I thought those creatures were extinct. They are. I, the last one I, died some years ago. I have a friend from there that was on that same voyage. Perhaps you know her, the Druid mm -hmm. Alentia. I know her quite well. She's in prison right now. I heard. I can't believe she would kill her wife. Yeah. Y'all yeah. are gonna y'all are gonna have to fill me in on this more, cause I'm not sure who you're talking about. Alentia is a Kenasi fire druid, a kind and brave woman who was accused of murdering her own wife and several others in the Stonehill Inn. Mm -hmm. For more information about that story out of character. Check out um, Murder at the Stonehill Inn, a D&D &D mystery. It should have gone up what? So, I highly recommend you guys check that out for more information about what they're talking about. As well as Sea of Troubles for the Kraken story. But anyways, the party moves away from the docks, mounts up on horses gifted to them by Queen Serata of Neverwinter and begins the long journey back to Bandolin in silence. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we will end tonight, and is where we will end season one of Tales from the Sword Coast. Well, guys, I wanna say thank you again for watching with us. I know this was a long one, so if you stuck with us all the way, thank you. Uh, if you liked it, uh, leave a like, comment and subscribe to our channel we know we have a lot of ghost viewers out there we see you yeah 95 uh, of you guys have uh, are at least us. no it's more than 95 it's like 100 now oh i, I yeah i haven't oh, checked really? the analytics in a couple days 
Yeah. Really? Wow. It's like a hundred of you are ghost viewers. Guys. Turn on the notification bell. That way you can get our newest content once it drops. Keep up to date with your favorite characters, such as and the we, mayor. Barbara. And we love and we love making these too, so we do. It, we we it's so much fun. We wouldn't do this we wouldn't be making the videos if we didn't think that you guys would enjoy it. So for you to take the time to click the subscribe button, click the like button, leave a comment, all those and things. And we do read your guys' comments. We read each and every one of them. Every single one. But taking that time shows us that you want more content, that you want us to, to have more adventures and to try new things. And, and to post them for you guys to see. Exactly. It's so easy for us to just sit down and play a game and not record it, but we prefer to share it with you. We, we want to spread the joy that we get playing these games, the, the, adrenaline, mm -hmm. the adrenaline, the thrill, the excitement, the mm -hmm. fear. We all, whenever we're playing, we all get a sense of genuine fear when we're going up against a big bad evil guy. We get oh, adrenaline yes. when we're in, no when we're in about a, it. a massive battle all those things and it's and we do that all for you um for those of I you just that for those of you that have subscribed i want to thank you guys for for subscribing it does mean a lot to us and you can bet we're gonna keep putting out content as as often as we can anyways guys thank you so much again for watching and for sticking with us um we really do appreciate it as usual, links are down in the description below for all the apps we use. Um, and I just want to end this video by saying, I know with all the protests and things going out in the world today, I just want to wish everyone, please stay safe, take care of each other, and love each other. Anyways, yeah, guys. I want to. I want to add to that. It's so easy for people to get so caught up and so riled up by everything that's going on and to get so caught up in the hate that's that's in this world right now. Mm. And I gotta say, I, I'm not gonna put my, my beliefs on here, except for this. If we wanna get through this, we have to get through this together as one community, as a group of people. If we want to survive this as a country, we need to come together and get past the hate. And there, there's a lot of it right now, and it, it scares all of us. Every single person in this call, I can guarantee you, is scared in one way or another of the hate. Indeed. And Yeah, it's, who knows what's going to happen, but I'm and, praying for the best, in all exactly. honesty. We exactly. all are. We the, all are. The way we get through this is by not letting the hate get to us and by um, coming together as a community. And I, for me, that's part of the reason why I, I'm so in, I have such a fun time making these videos is because it gives people escape. almost an, an escape to get away from yeah. all the hate. And, you know, we're not doing it to take people's minds off of it and to distract we're doing it as a way of saying if you need if you want to reach out to us you can I, I'm sure there's a direct messaging system on YouTube or put it in the comments reach out Maybe. to us and we'll we will we'll answer back we'll answer we will. back yep absolutely if you need a if you want a voice if you feel like you don't have a voice reach out to us we will we we can help be your voice anyway guys um I, I, that i said i've said my piece um i think taylor you, you've said your piece yeah ricky have you said your piece um you, you guys just really just summed it up really well uh like they were saying these videos aren't made to completely like distract you from like what you, anything you're focused on or anything that you want to get or that you're trying to do get done these are pure, these are purely for uh, entertainment to make you guys laugh to make you guys to motivate you guys to play the game because we have a lot of fun playing it like yeah we, it's so much fun like 
Will and Taylor are different DMs, and it's just so much fun to play with either one of them. It's real. It's a lot of fun. Trust me. If you played with a game with them, you would love it. And maybe I know I we'll act like a hard ass, but. Yeah, <laughs> maybe what we'll do is in the future we'll start setting up um, raffles or some sort of way for you guys to to come out and be part of a game over Zoom. Who knows? Um, yeah. If you guys want to try something like that, put it in the comments below. We'll read it and we'll we'll reach out and we'll comment back and we'll we'll put a, our input together and we'll all. We'll figure this out. Exactly. Anyways, and tell us and tell us you're a YouTuber, Discord, whatever name you use. We'll us. Uh, we'll um, exactly. feature you. We'll literally put your name in our title, like yeah. featuring this person. <laughs> yeah. We we love you guys. Stay safe, and have a great day. Right. Um, Bye, guys. Adios, Peace out, amigos. Everybody.